This video is made possible by our loyal Patreon supporters. Visit patreon.com. Hello and welcome. My name is Jessie and today I'm going to do a sequence for back pain. I formulated the sequence to address all parts of the spine, lower, middle, upper, and even some neck. So go at your own pace. If there's anything that feels good for you, feel free to stay there for a little bit longer. And if there's anything that doesn't feel so good, feel free to back off for a little bit. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you haven't already, follow us on social media for tips, tutorials, giveaways, and daily inspiration. So we're gonna start in seated position and we're gonna start warming up the muscles, just getting our spine nice and warm. So we're gonna rotate. And again, make this practice your own. So if you need to pause somewhere that feels extra good, stretch it out. We're gonna rotate in one direction, get the shoulders involved, maybe the neck. And then go the other way, really warming up the back, warming up the spine, getting it nice and ready for all the yoga poses we're about to do. Whenever you feel nice and warm, we're gonna inhale our arms up. And we're gonna come over to the side really stretch out the side of our back here. Maybe your hand is down. Maybe if you need a little more, coming down to that elbow. Really breathe into it, get it nice and stretched. Inhale, arms back up. And coming down on the other side, making sure your arm is right over that ear. Again, you can stay on your hand or come down to the elbow for a little more stretch. All right, and inhale, arms back up and down. Now we are going to take our left foot. We're gonna take our heel close to that right hip. We're gonna take our right leg and cross it over just like that. Again, inhale, arms up and exhale, twist. As you inhale, really lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, try to twist a little more. Again, inhaling, lifting, exhaling, twist. One more time, inhale, exhale. Coming back to center, we'll do the other side. So taking our right heel now, bringing it to our left hip and crossing our left leg over. Inhale, arms up. And now twisting to the other side, bringing that hand behind us. Make sure you're sitting up tall here and twist. A few more breaths. This is also great for detoxing. One more breath and coming back to center. All right, now we're gonna come to tabletop position. Make sure your wrists are below your shoulders, your knees are right under your hips. We're gonna do a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhale, look up. And exhale, drop the chin, arch your back. Again, inhale, drop the belly. And exhale, gaze towards the belly button. Now here I like to incorporate some movement, so feel free to join me. Really good to warm up the spine, to stretch out all those muscles that need some extra love. So feel free to rotate. Again, doing whatever your body needs, just listen. Continue to inhale and exhale as you move with your breath. And then from here, we're going to push into down dog. So bringing your heels as close to the mat as possible. Really making sure that your spine is extended so it can decompress. 
gonna take a few breaths here. Really feel this stretch in the backs of the thighs. And then when you're ready, we're gonna to gaze to the front of our mats. Feel free to step, hop, jump forward into a forward fold. So we're gonna hang out in forward fold here for a minute. Make sure that your stomach is pressed against your thighs. So your legs don't need to be completely straight. The main focus is that your back is straight here. So you're not causing any additional pain. Make sure your neck is also just kind of hanging down and I like to kind of move my neck around here maybe grab your opposite elbows ragdoll just to kind of bring a little more weight down so you're really able to decompress your spine and move it around this is excellent for the lumbar region the cervical region just inhale and exhale here Whenever you're ready, plant your hands. We are going to come up to monkey pose, so straight back. Coming back down, forward fold. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. So now we're going to step back with our left foot. Come into warrior two. So that left foot needs to be at about 45 degree angle. We're going to open up our arms. Make sure your shoulders are down, away from your ears. Inhale, exhale. You should be looking over your right fingertips. And we're gonna inhale, straighten our front leg. And then really reach, reach, reach those front fingertips out past the feet. And then coming into triangle. Really making sure your back is straight here, like you can lean up against the wall. Making sure there's not too much weight down in your right arm here. So you can place it on your shin, on your ankle, maybe even coming down to the mat. If you have a block here, this is also great to use that. All right, inhaling back up. Now we're going to have both of our feet facing forward. Inhale, and slowly coming down, making sure that our back is straight, all the way down. Again, you can place your hands on your ankles, maybe on the mat. If you need a little bit more, you can also take your fingertips pointing to the back of the room and kind of pull yourself down, whatever feels good for you. Again, just make sure your spine is nice and straight and not too round. All right, inhale, come up. Now we're gonna do warrior two on the other side. So now our left toes are gonna be facing forward. Put a bend in that left leg. Make sure that your knee is right over your ankle and arms are up again making sure your shoulders aren't up towards your ears inhale and exhale and then we're going to go ahead and straighten that front leg reach 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 our fingertips over our toes come down into triangle Ideally, to protect your neck, you are gazing up at your right fingers. If this is comfortable, if not, then you can gaze down at the floor. Just do whatever feels good for you. And then using our core to come up. Again, we're going to face our feet towards the front. Maybe heel toe them a little bit closer. We're going to come into Malasana or Yogi Squat. So just slowly and controlled, you can bring your hands to prayer position. Coming all the way down if you're able to. This is also a great hip opener. 
So really use your arms and your elbows to kind of press your legs apart. Again, keeping your back straight to protect it. Breathe here. All right, now we're going to come down to our bellies. So the first pose we'll do on our mat is Sphinx pose. So bring your forearms to either side of you. Your elbows should kind of be hugging your side here. And you're just going to push up really great for strengthening the back, making sure your neck is nice and elongated. Breathing in and out. Again, shoulders away from the ears. Just really feel a strength in your middle and your upper back, your shoulders. Let's go ahead and come back down to our chest. Next, for locust pose, we're going to bring our arms back behind us on either side of our legs. And whenever we're ready, we're going to lift both of our legs and our arms at the same time. Again, do what feels good for you here. Try to raise them up as high as possible. But if you're only able to come off the mat a few inches, that's fine too. This is just really great for strengthening the back. Also works on digestion. And coming back to the mat, you can make a little pillow with your hands and lay to one side. Now, your choice for the next one, you can come back to locust pose if that felt good to you. Or if you want to take it a step further and come to Dhanurasana or Bow Pose, you're going to bring your heels up towards your glutes, grab the outside of your ankles, and lift up. Don't forget to breathe. So maybe your breath can rock you back and forth here a little bit. Lift, lift, lift. Keep those feet flexed. Inhale, and then we're gonna come back down to the mat and rest for a little bit. And then whenever you're ready, coming on to our back. All right. So now laying on our backs, we're going to bend our knees, grab the outer, uh, grab outside of our feet. It's a happy baby, so we can roll side to side, roll up and down that spine a little bit. Really massage any of the areas where there's still some tension. Maybe the lower back, maybe the side of the back, whatever feels good. And bringing our soles of the feet to the mat. We're gonna come into bridge next. So using our glutes to lift off the mat. Leave a little space in between your chin and your chest. Really activating your core here to bring your hips up. and exhaling. And slowly coming down one vertebrae at a time. We're going to keep our legs bent and then we're going to take them over to the right side. Again, you can kind of play around here. Sometimes I like to cross my legs. You can bring your legs up a little bit higher if you have more neck pain, or a little bit lower if you experience pain in the lower back. And once you have your knees in a good position, go ahead and look over your left fingertips, ensuring that your left shoulder is still on the ground. Inhale and exhale. And 
then we're going to do the other side. So uncross your legs if you decided to cross them and bring them to the left side now. Gazing over the right fingertips. Again, placing your knees anywhere it feels good, wherever you feel that sensation. Spinal twists are great for increasing flexibility, for detoxing. All right, and coming back to center now. Now it's time for everyone's favorite pose, Shavasana. So go ahead and extend your legs out, extend your arms down. Take some time here, or if there's any other poses that you need that we didn't get to that really make your back feel great, go ahead and do that now. Or you can join me in Shavasana. Slowing down your breath, slowing down your heart rate, relaxing your body, your mind, just melting into the mat. Being grateful for the practice that you just completed, for what you just did to make your body and your mind feel better. Inhale, exhale. Relax all of your muscles. Release any tension that you still might be feeling. Just breathe. Feel free to stay here as long as you need. Or you can go ahead, roll to one side. Make a little pillow with your arm, keeping your eyes closed. And whenever you're ready, go ahead and push up to seated position. All right, once you're in a seated position, let's go ahead and do one final stretch up. Inhale, exhale, bring your your hands to your heart center. Thank you so much for joining this practice with me. Namaste. So I love to hear your feedback, how you liked this video, how it helped with your back pain, and if there are any other requests, any other issues that you'd like for me to address in the future, please let me know. You can also find a lot more yoga videos on our app, Yoga Plus. So I hope to see you there. Introducing Yoga Plus, offering a free series every month with over 300 different videos. Take control of your health. Work out anytime, anywhere. Yoga Plus, download now for free.